Hi, welcome to a new video. This video is going to be a reading vlog, my first ever reading vlog. I recently picked up the Overstory. I don't know, I highly doubt this will be in focus, but um, I picked up the Overstory by Richard Powers. This is my first novel of his. What better way to start his bibliography by starting with the novel that won him the Pulitzer Prize. This novel is about nine different people who have some type of relationship with trees. And yeah, it's just about people and trees, which is great because I love trees and I love books about trees. I read an entire novel that I'm blanking on its name, but it was just, it was a nonfiction book about trees. So, love them. Um, <laughs> so yeah, when I read the summary for this and learn that it was about nature, I was 100% on board. I've already started. I'm 100 pages in. I'm on page 124. So there's four sections. There's roots, trunk, crown, and seeds. Um, right now, it looks like the first section is just an introduction to all nine characters. So far, I read seven about seven of them i'm on the eighth one i think we're about to finish her story um and then i'm assuming the following sections are the continuations of these characters lives and their relationship with um trees and hopefully they get to meet one another i don't know i honestly don't know what's gonna happen in this book which is fun because i don't like books that I can tell what's gonna happen. So let's get to reading. I, I switched to my camcorder because I'm heading to a coffee shop now to read. Hopefully read a lot. <laughs> we will see. Um, but I thought it'd be a lot more convenient bringing this camera instead of the big Canyon because that would be awful to hold and, and, and I'd be embarrassed <laughs> to take it out because it's huge. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head to a coffee shop now. I don't want to be at home anymore and read. So I'm gonna read there. Hopefully there's not a lot of people. I feel like there shouldn't be. But yeah, I have my hair up in these cute, um, I just have it pinned back, but I feel like they're uneven and I don't know how long they will stay like this because it's super hot out and I might just end up putting my hair up on a ponytail because I'm also wearing this like button up and I don't know why because it's a hundred million degrees outside, but I'm still gonna wear it. I'm just gonna go with it, so. Also, I can show you what's in my bag that I'm bringing. So this is the bag that I'm bringing, this tote bag. I got it from Etsy. It's super wrinkly, I know. It's just, I don't know what to do. I washed it once and it's been wrinkly ever since. I even tried ironing it and it's still like this. So I don't know. Um, but of course I'm bringing the book. Oh, the lighting changed. I'm bringing the book and then I always have my phone, headphones, mirror, hand sanitizer, wallet, stuff like that. And I'm also bringing my personal dictionary, um, which is just a book of words that I don't know, but I write the definitions down. So like new words that I find. Um, and yeah, and I also bring this camera and a water bottle and some snacks probably. So yeah, I will see you at the coffee shop. I just got back home from the cafe. I read a good amount, so I'm happy with myself. Um, but I thought I'd do a little reading update. 
I've gotten to the second section of the book which is named Trunks. The characters do get to meet one another, not all of them all at the same time, um, but some of them have met with one another and their, cross, their paths have crossed and I'm very excited. I've discovered that I'm a lot more invested in their lives than I thought I'd be, so that's been fun to read. Um, like there are some characters that I'm much more invested in. But yeah, I like the pairings that have been brought together so far. Um, and I just, I don't know, I'm having really fun reading this. A lot more fun than I thought I'd be. Like I'm enjoying this book way more than I thought. And I'm way more invested into the characters than I thought. And I, I do like that in the first part of the novel, you get introduced to all nine of them separately. I think that was a good idea. Um, because you get to meet all of them, but not all at once. And then in the second part, when they do meet each other, it's just cooler. I don't know. I don't really know how to explain. It's just like exciting when some of the characters meet. Um, but yeah, also I had a moment where I felt pretty cool about myself um, because like I said earlier, I read a non-fiction book which I still haven't figured out what it's called um, but I'll make sure to put it on the screen um, but in, the, in that book they talked about, there's a section where they talked about how trees are able to communicate with one another and they talked about how they communicate through the root system. They can talk to one another through other ways but I think mainly they were going over like how they communicate through the roots which that was really cool. And then in this book, The Overstory, one of the characters discovers that trees have the ability to talk to one another and I was like, oh. I knew that already. So I don't know, it just felt nice to read about something that I had prior knowledge about. It's never happened before. Apparently I don't know much. <laughs> but I know a lot about trees, so yeah. That's my reading update for y'all. Um, I am sweaty because it is so hot today. And I wore a long sleeve. I don't know why but also um quickly i want to talk about another book that i read it is duck death and the tulip by wolf earlbrook or earlbrooch um it's a children's novel i had this on my tbr for a little while now and i just got it and i read it in two minutes because it's very very short and it's a children's novel so it's not extremely complex or anything but the main reason why I had gotten this book is because of let me see, of the art I, I love the way that the author draws death I think they're so cute they're so adorable let me see another here's the back they just have this ginormous skull I don't know and like a cute dress on and I thought it was so cute and the story is very heartwarming it's about death and ducks and a tulip so well one duck not multiple ducks but yeah I really enjoyed this so this is another book that I recently read but yeah um that's all I have for you right now I will update you guys when I read some more officially finished the overstory. I don't think I'm the same person that I was when I started reading this. This is an incredible book and I love, love, love it. And 
have so much to say, but I'll try not to just go on a rant because this video will be so long to edit. Um, first, let's talk about the characters and let's talk about how I became deeply attached to them, which was very shocking to me because I don't tend to grow attached to um, characters in novels for TV shows and other things. It's very easy for me, but I don't know. I just don't tend to do that when I read books. Um, but I definitely, I, I care very deeply about these fictional people. I was in fact so invested into the characters' lives and their stories that it got to a point where it was starting to affect my mental state when I was reading because when something sad happened to any of the characters it made me very very upset as if someone in real life had come to me and told me like devastating news about someone else that I knew in real life like they were telling me about a death of someone in my family like it was affecting me that much and when they were in dangerous situations I would become extremely anxious so I yes I um, grew very attached to them story wise I obviously really enjoyed it and something I found to be really astonishing and just I was a little jealous of was Powers' writing. I'm just, a little, I'm just jealous of how good his writing is and how he's able to create such a beautifully intricate story and not make me feel bored. I never once felt like the story was dragged out either, which is really surprising because usually books that are more than like 400 pages, I feel like at some point they do drag a little, but this one, I just kept going through. I, I just, I was so invested in the story and in the characters that I just kept reading. You can really tell that this book was deeply researched. This is not, like it's very obvious that this is not just a book where he looked quickly looked up things about trees and then just wrote them like didn't really put a thought or care into what he was writing the information that he gives is is like shows how much time and research and knowledge went into writing this book and i love that because he's not only just taking the time to write a a fictional story but he's taking the time to add in factual information so those are most likely all of my thoughts on this book all of my thoughts that i can currently remember um i hope that someone out there enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it and i will see you in my next one